Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be looking at enabling date time axes with Bokeh. Let's get started. So first off let's go on and create up a new file here and I'm going to call this uh, Bokeh date time uh, axes.py and we're going to uh, we have actually had quite a bit to import this time so um, we're going to do from random oh, let's just import random let's import it all import random uh, and we're going to do from date time import date time and we also want in a uh, time delta then we're also going to do from bokeh dot models import date time or date date tick formatter and we also want in our numerical um, uh, numerical tick formatter or numerical tick formatter and let me zoom out just a little bit so we can see that uh, yeah that's clear for you guys um, and then let's go on and do from bokeh dot plotting import figure and show so these are the basic imports that we're gonna have here we're gonna be creating up some uh, randomized uh, 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 data as well as some uh, date time objects. Uh, so first off, let's generate um, list of dates. Okay, and so it'd be something like um, dates is equal to um, date time dot now. So today's date um, plus time delta. Uh, we want day multiplied by seven, uh, and then we want in here um, for day in in range uh, zero to uh, twenty six, and then we're going to also generate. Uh, and again, this is twenty five dates. 25 days uh, and so we're going to generate in here uh, 25 random data points uh, y is equal to random dot sample in here and our population is going to be uh, range of 0 to 100 uh, and then our k here is going to be 26 uh, and I'm not going to set um, any uh, seed or anything you guys can uh, uh, code along with me and uh, have your own random data that's that's perfectly fine <clears throat> so let's go on and uh, create our figure so P is equal to our figure and we want a title uh, is going to be a date uh, time axis uh, example then we want in here our x-axis uh, type, and we need to make sure that it is a date time. Again, dates uh, always go on the x-axis, okay, when you are making plots. Uh, then we're also going to do our sizing uh, mode in here, and we want this to be a stretch width. Uh, and then we're also going to have a max uh, width here of 900. Um, and then a plot uh, height in here of uh, 300. Okay, so that creates up our basic figure. Uh, and then let's actually go on and put in our renderer. So p dot uh, circle uh, circle. Uh, and we want our dates with our y. Uh, size here is going to be 5. Uh, p dot line with our dates. y here, our color is going to be blue. And our line width here is going to be 2. Make it a little bit thicker. Um, and then let's also add in uh, some formatting in here. Uh, so specifically, our p dot y axis. Here, uh, z whoops, uh, zero formatter is going to be our numerical formatter, 
And what we're going to do on the y-axis, we're going to assume that this is uh, maybe it's like stock prices or something. So we'll do format in here, and we want a dollar sign zero dot zero zero, and then p dot um, x-axis uh, zero dot formatter here, and this is going to be our uh, date time tick formatter, and we want this to be something like um, the month. Okay, and so uh, month here is actually, if it's going to be just like the first three letters of the month, we'll use this lowercase, uh, we'll do percent sign B, and then we want the full year, so percent sign, that's the four, the four numbers on there with a capital Y. Uh, and then let's go on and show this. Show. So we'll do show of P. Save this and run. Whoop. And it did not like, oh, whoops. And I typed in data time instead of date time. Date time. Okay. And so probably you guys were screaming at me from that. Uh, and then. Let's see here about what didn't it like with something else. Let's follow the trace back. Line 29. Line 29. Okay, so it did not. Why, 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 why did you not like? Oh, whoops. Okay. So this format, this date time formatter here, I was actually just following my format here. This is wrong. I need to actually do something like months in here to actually say how I want the months formed. And that should clear up each of our issues. All right, that's good. So you can see here that our plot is actually quite beautiful now. We actually have our date time, um, our date time, sorry, on our X axis. So here it starts out as uh, June, July, August. And again, it has this 2021 uh, in here for our year. And it shows the full year with the date. Now you can use any type of date time formatting that you want in order to have everything clean. Um, you can use this for the days, the year, etc. And then again on our y-axis we have our um, the money values in here that we have as well. So this is very useful uh, again if you are anyone doing finance or uh, economics or anything. I mean almost every every type of data time uh, does have a date time type format or a time format at least. Um, so I hope you guys like this. If you did, comment, subscribe, and hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.